In this video, I'm going to walk you through example 19.1 on page 67, 697 in your textbook. Um, it's very similar to the, the concepts you need for your homework assignment in chapter 19. Okay, so the problem statement is, a set of three bolts is used to provide a clamping load of 12,000 pounds between two components of a machine. The load is shared equally among the three bolts. Specify the suitable bolts, that's the first thing you need to find, including the grade of the material, if each is stressed to 75% of its proof strength. Then compute the required tightening torque. Okay, so the first step is the load is shared equally. So what we need to do is to find out what the load is on each one of the bolts. So in this case, it's 4,000 pounds, which is 12,000 divided by 3. Next, we're going to look at table 19.1. Again, we're going to talk just about the SAE grades for bolts. So looking at table 19.1, um, the SAE bolt grade is determined by the steel that's used for the bolt and the resulting bolt strength. We talked a little bit about this in the movie. So what I want you to think of proof strength is, it can be thought of as the elastic limit. So as you tighten a bolt, you're going to develop a clamp load. And that clamp load will cause the bolt to stretch elastically. And you're going to think about your stress strain curve. You know, up to the elastic limit, the bolt is going to stretch. Um, proof strength is the elastic limit of the bolt. And the way this problem is stated, it talks about a clamp load that's 75% of the proof strength of the bolt. That is typical. It is customary to specify that the maximum clamping load that you can develop in a fastener is based on 75% of the proof strength. Okay, so what we're going to do for this problem is let's go ahead and select a, a, a grade 5 bolt, which gives us a proof strength of 85,000 PSI. Okay, so that for our allowable stress is going to be 75% of that 85,000, or in this case, 63,750 PSI. So now we need to select the bolt size by its tensile area. Okay, so we know the stress and the load. So what is, what is the area that we need that's required to carry the load to keep the stress below the allowable limit? Now we talked about this in the movie a little bit for the, for the chapter presentation. So what we need to find is the tensile area. Okay, now one of the things I said or may not have said, is that this is the equation right here. Stress equals force divided by area is the primary equation that we're going to be using in this chapter. Okay, We're all familiar with that one. Stress equals force divided by area. So it's something that we're all familiar with. Okay, So what we did here is we computed the area based on our load that each bolt has to carry and the allowable stress. So that means the tensile area for our fastener is going to be no less than 0 0.0628 inch squared. Now, there's an equation for tensile stress area. This is the equation for the unified threads, the, the English units, the imperial units, if you will. Um, there's a different equation for metric, but I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just presenting this one here because there's an equation for this, but like I said in the movie, the best way to do this is to use table 19.4. That's a good source of tensile area. So for the coarse thread designations and for the fine thread designations, we got a handy table that tells us what the tensile stress area is. Okay, so we had point zero six two eight was our minimum area. So let's go to this chart and pick out a thread that gives us an area bigger than 0 0.0628. So when we're consulting this table, what we're going to see is that if we pick a 3816 coarse thread, 
UNC coarse thread, we get a tensile stress area of 0 0.0775, which is greater than our 0 0.0628, which is our minimum area right here. Okay, so now that we have selected our bolt, we're selecting a 3816 UNC coarse thread bolt, and it has enough tensile area to carry the 4,000 pounds below that allowable stress level. So the next step is to calculate the tightening torque. So the clamping load is created by the tightening torque. So as you put effort into tightening the bolt, you're, what you're doing is you're putting effort into stretching the bolt. So we have an equation here, and this is what's used in industry primarily, um, between the tightening torque and the clamping load. And that's equation 19.3. So torque equals KD times P, where T is the torque in inch pounds, D is the nominal outside diameter of the thread, P is the clamping load that's developed, and K is this constant, which depends on the lubrication. It's, it's really a friction factor is what it is. Now for more, most commercial applications, I want you to use K equals 0.15. Now, if the threads are completely clean and dry, most industries use K equals 0.2. So therefore, the solution to this problem is T equals KDP, we're going to use 0.15 here, 0.375 is our nominal diameter of the bolt, and P is the clamping load that we're going to develop, and therefore we get 225 pound inches of torque. Therefore, our solution to this problem is you're going to use a 3 8 16 UNC bolt with a tightening torque of 20, 225 pound inches. Now, this should set you up for doing the homework. Um, really, the, the, the equation that we need to know is stress equals force divided by area. That's the primary equation that we're going to be using.